In this video, I want to give you a crash course in all things binary. I'm going to cover counting, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And the great thing is, because binary is so simple, I can fit this all on a single sheet of paper. When it comes to counting, the main thing you need to know is that the first digit represents the ones place, the second digit represents the twos place, then the fours, then the eights, and so on. If you want a more detailed example, you can pause the screen now. You can see that 1-1 one, one is 2 plus 1, which is 3, and 1-1-1 one, one, one would be 4 plus 2 plus 1, or 7. What about addition? Well, there's really only three steps you ever perform when adding numbers in binary. 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, or 2. And by combining these, we can go ahead and add larger numbers. For example, let's go ahead and add together the numbers 1, 0, 1, 1, which is 11, and 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is 17. The two rightmost digits are both 1's, so 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. We bring down the 0 and carry the 1 to the top. Then again, we have 1 plus 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, so we bring down the 0 and carry the 1 to the top. Now we have 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is just 1, and 1 plus 0, which is just 1, and then just 1 by itself. So in the end, when we add these two numbers together, we get 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Or 28. So let's look at a subtraction problem. We have 1110 minus 101. When subtracting in binary, there are really only a few scenarios that show up. The most difficult one being the one on the far right digit here. 0 minus 1 can't be done, so we have to borrow from the left digit to get 2. And 2 minus 1 gives us 1, and we bring that down. Now, when we borrowed from that previous digit, that changed to 0, so now we have 0 minus 0, which is just 0. 1 minus 1 would give you 0 as well, and then the final digit would be 1 minus 0, which gives us 1. And so the final answer here is 1, 0, 0, 1, or 9. Now let's look at the multiplication table. The multiplication table is very simple. It's just a 2 by 2 grid. Anything multiplied by 0 is just 0, and the only thing left is just 1 times 1, which is 1. Now that we know our multiplication table, we can go ahead and multiply some larger numbers. We're going to take 1, 1, 0, which is 6 and multiply it by 1, 0, 1, which is 5. Well, first we're going to take the bottom right 1 and multiply it across the top, and 1 times anything is just itself, so we get 1, 1, 0. When we move over, we have 0 times the top, which is just 0, and then we end again with just 1 times the top, which is 1, 1, 0 again. We add these numbers together, and we get 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, or 30. And it's here that we can see some of the great benefits of binary. The entire multiplication table and all single digit addition can be memorized very quickly. The benefit is that each step in binary math is very easy to perform. The downside is that there can be many, many steps. So let's finish things up with division. I'm going to take 10011 and divide by 11, or in other words, 19 divided by 3. The first number that 11 will fit into is 100, and it will fit in there one time. So I write a 1 above the final 0. 1 times 1, 1 is just 1, 1, and I subtract that. That's the same thing as 4 minus 3, which is 1, and then I bring down the next 1 over. Now, 1, 1 obviously fits into 1, 1 a single time, so I write 1 above that row. And when I subtract 1, 1, I'm left with 0. I bring down the final 1, and I cannot fit anything else in here, so I write 0, remainder 1. If I wanted to, I could make this a decimal number, because what we really have is 1, 1, 0, and 1 third are... 110.01 1, 1, 0. 0, 1 repeating. So that's a crash course of everything binary squeezed into one piece of paper. If you're interested in seeing the same thing in ternary or base 3, let me know in the comments below. I think I could probably just barely squeeze it in. I'd also like to recommend you check out my dozen of videos, which is a much more logical number base. And don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.